Namaste to all. Uh, my name is Priya. I'm from uh, Trivandrum, Kerala. I stay with my husband, my son, and uh, my mother-in-law. Uh, I have an younger sister who's also a school teacher, and my mother. Uh, my father, who was a role model for me, expired three months back. Uh, he was also a civil engineer like me. So till my marriage, I was in uh, Tiruvannathapuram, uh, the capital city of Kerala. So since uh, we were staying in a township where my father was working uh, in his room, it was a cosmopolitan crowd from uh, where people from all the uh, states were there. So that's why I, I was comfortable with Hindi and English from my uh, childhood. And I was uh, uh, other languages also like Tamil, Telugu. Uh, my neighbors were there. So I could uh, uh, speak in those languages also. Uh, after my marriage, uh, I moved to uh, Baroda, uh, where I did my uh, master's in engineering. Uh, and I worked in that university for five years, 96 to 2001. And then uh, we moved to Dubai uh, since my husband was placed there. And we, I was there from 2003 to 30. And since my uh, son was small, I didn't work initially. But after when he was little grown up, I started to work in construction firms. Uh, but when the recession came in 2008, I was laid off uh, because I joined a new company that time. Uh, but that was a really a turning point in my life since I got a lot of time and I could do a lot of volunteer work uh, uh, like the children courses of Art of Living, Toastmasters Club for Children and work with special needs uh, children also. And uh, why we came back to uh, uh, India in 2013 was my husband's parents were becoming old and to take care of them. And also my husband was uh, affected with psoriasis skin disease. Uh, so he was finding very difficult to work. So we thought of uh, moving back uh, to Kerala in 2013. And when, uh, then within one month, I got a job uh, in uh, Ace College of Engineering, uh, where it was in the, uh, that college started that year only. So I was uh, working as the head of the department uh, in civil engineering and still working in that college. My UHP journey started with a three day offline workshop in June 2019, uh, which was a residential workshop. Uh, I liked the workshop and conducted the SIP based on that. But since there was no fall of meetings, uh, I totally forgot the content in due course of time. Uh, but in around October 2020, my uh, principal called me and told that one person, Sharath from AACT, always calls him regularly and tells about the UHV workshop where all teachers need to attend compulsory that workshop. So he gave me Sharad Bhaiya's number and requested me to coordinate for this. So this was the time when EASIP was conducted for AACT uh, in two modes, in the online mode in November 2020. So my real journey of UHV actually started after I attended the ESIP online workshop. I still used to listen to the recorded videos of Kumar Bai and Shamila Didi who have taken UHV session uh, in the ESIP where I have to, when I have to take the UHV content to my students and uh, prepare for the demo sessions. So in the meanwhile, I have done all the uh, UHV2 workshops in the offline mode, as well as attended uh, conferences in Bangalore and, uh, and the recently conducted uh, Pune conferences. So while uh, coming to the exercise one, uh, so uh, if this is my actually uh, fourth time I'm attending, but uh, third time since uh, my father was not well, so third time I could not attend fully. So this is, uh, in a way, it is a third time. Uh, so, so in, when I was doing the exercise, initially I could not uh, get the content clarity that much, but still I could explore to some extent. But even now I could feel that I have not understood uh, many things, uh, but uh, I'll just go through each uh, steps. Observing your imagination at this moment, uh, desire, thought and expectation. So uh, uh, whenever, uh, whenever I observe, when, uh, like Shamla ji used to tell, in between observe your imagination. So then I close my eyes for some time and observe. So what I could see is then my mind becomes calm. I could get a feel, that feeling part used to come, that relatedness feeling to all people, not only my close relatives, to all the people uh, around me that are relate, 
connection it's that feeling uh, used to uh, come so i was uh, that that feeling i was thinking after uh, this work after this exploration uh, because before i i had i used to uh, have that opposition feeling to my colleagues so i was just observing when i was writing this uh, exercise i had once uh, reacted very badly to my one of my colleague and we both went to principal room to sort out that issue it was like 5 6 years back uh, but uh, then like now if i see that person i could see that how uh, that i am so related to him and uh, he also have that feeling to uh, me so uh, that was the thing uh, like uh, that uh, the reaction mode has drastically come and i am able to uh, or go through that um, uh, response like no that feeling of relationship uh, is there most of the time even one colleague i remember uh, she, uh, like long back uh, she, uh, i i made a, a comment because there was one function going she was a young um, faculty who was not married so she went early so uh, i got little annoyed because faculties in my department who had having small children are standing for 8 pm and our college finishes by 4 pm but during the functions it reaches up to 8 9 pm and she was going uh, by giving the punch then like other teachers were also there then i actually reacted to her like no uh, why she is going and uh, like that and then her hod was there and uh, then the hod of her department told that she has some issue at home Uh, then i told in front of every people if she is having an issue then why she is coming to job uh, like no that uh, that thing i told and uh, I, after but that faculty still keeps a grudge in me but uh, you know after attending uh, i know with this um, understanding i do i don't have the grudge she or two three times she has reacted to me uh, uh, to me but uh, for example Uh, i we both took the same subject i took in my department she took in her department life skill so in the valuation i was made the chief and three four uh, faculties from my college and other college will be coming under me so uh, the valuation happens in the uh, other college so when she went to take the paper the camp officer told that i am the chief so she told to uh, the camp officer you can give any other chief but not uh, priya teacher so uh, this i came to know from one of the faculties in my department and then the other faculty in my department faculty told you should go and tell to the principal because something uh, your name is getting bad because and the other college teachers are coming to know but i was getting i was actually smiling in uh, uh, inside me i was uh, like no smiling before that if the situation could have come it would have been a uh, reaction mode and i would have gone and complained to the principal so i never uh, i never did the complaint but i thought that whenever i get time she is from the other department and sit with her and talk to her so these things i could uh, see in my uh, behavior so that was to the uh, first one and many of uh, the, all the steps sometimes it used to come come together for me uh, like i could not uh, see uh, individually if sometimes it doesn't work out but uh, if you see uh, the uh, it is not that i do uh, I, i always have the re uh, relationship feeling sometimes the feeling uh, becomes in the react uh, reaction mode with all particularly with my husband and uh, son so i could clearly observe when i was in uh, when i react um, i am having the opposition feeling me at that time uh, for example uh, there were a lot of examples so extra what happened was my husband came to my house where my mother is and told that i'm not doing the household chores i'm not taking care of the house he uh, complained uh, to uh, uh, to my mother and uh, she's uh, every she's going and she's doing a lot of time for the uhv activities she's not spending time with me like that uh, he came and told to my mother so and uh, and the mother and my mother finally asked and since there was a lot of um, complaints then my father, uh, mother jokingly replied okay then let priya stay here with me i am alone no uh, then um, my husband told no 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 i i i don't uh, i cannot leave without her Uh, like that he told to her so when i came back 
from my colleagues my mother told uh, but she told to me like see he has a complaint with me he told uh, with me she told see you should uh, give more time to him uh, do the household chores then i suddenly reacted to my mother like no why should there are maids in the house so uh, man, they are doing it very nicely so uh, i was in a reaction mood and i told that he always have the complaint to me so uh, when i told these things i could observe like no i was uh, going opposition i was having an opposition uh, feel to him so that opposition feel uh, then lay after some time uh, i could feel that why that that feeling was making me uh, very uh, that opposition feeling at that time i could feel that Uh, that feeling was not uh, like no naturally acceptable to me and many times it happened uh, the reaction mood used to happen uh, with my son also uh, so uh, that uh, he uh, since now uh, he takes my car and goes so i find it sometimes difficult to move around so uh, i'll uh, like uh, sometimes uh, react to him but the problem later on i understood if i tell early one day advance he used to give it to me so Uh, when these reaction mode happens i could feel i could sense that feeling that feeling is not naturally acceptable to me so when the opposition feeling comes i could uh, clearly understand that feeling is not naturally acceptable to me the second feel then uh, are you comfortable uh, are you comfortable or in harmony or happy with the feeling you have that moment i could clearly feel that i am not comfortable and uh, i am in uh, disharmony i am not happy Uh, with that feeling, that moment I could feel, and uh, but the feeling part changes only after some time. I could uh, clearly observe, and who decides its feeling? The fourth point. So that time I could observe uh, that the the trigger from outside is the uh, deciding factor of my uh, feeling. So uh, what uh, the fifth point? Who decides? on what basis did you decide the feeling you have at this moment did you decide on the basic of understanding or on the basic of assumption so uh, what i do what i felt that at that particular time uh, that as i get an assumption feeling uh, they don't like me and at that time i forgot i forget all the part of uh, trust that intention and competence after uh, that's why that assumption part if we, if i would have that uh, trust part would have been there in me that the intention of everyone is to be happy and to make the others happy only the competence part is lacking uh, i would not have uh, like reacted to this uh, situation so sometimes that uh, that assumption part like uh, they are they are very selfish they don't like me all those things uh, assumption parts uh, comes to me uh, which feelings are naturally acceptable to you after the reaction is over i could see that uh, that i should not have reacted that uh, because it is coming uh, because i know the feeling of relationship uh, harmony and uh, that coexistence that is a, that is why what i should have so that's why uh, after some time that uh, reaction mode i come to the response mode so uh, i could see that uh, very fast i am coming to the response mode and when i come to the respond modes i could feel i could see that the situation becomes karma but uh, this should have uh, this uh, this should have come before the reaction mode but that is not still happening still that first the reaction mode comes then the response mode uh, is happening so uh, uh, but the response mode is coming faster so i could see a, a drastic change because before what used to happen was uh, i used to feel after the incident also i used to feel very bad and i used to cry for long time i used to go to my room and cry for long time but that uh, the thing has stopped fully i could see now now i never cry because i think suddenly from the reaction the response mode uh, i am able to come so and the th seventh point ensure that the feeling that you have at the, at this moment is in line with the feeling of relationship harmony and poise coexistence or and not otherwise this uh, this are not able to uh, get uh, continuously uh, because this is uh, happening i can uh, only at some times this the seven point uh, but somewhat i could uh, i could uh, lead to it the coexistence before i was not 
um, much to the uh, stray I never used to observe the stray dogs or cats. And uh, but now when I see them in trouble, I used to go and help, like whatever way I can do, help them. And the, the birds kept in cages that uh, I'm not comfortable at all. So my neighbor used to keep it and I told them why you're keeping it in the uh, cages. And uh, I was a non-vegetarian. Uh, I was a very good non-vegetarian. But uh, now I've stopped eating chicken and mutton, but I still eat fish. So these are the, some changes I could see. Uh, I could understand uh, the coexistence uh, to a bit where uh, the uh, seventh part, uh, I should, uh, I think, work more on to it. And as Ganesh Ji told that this is a slow process, at least uh, 10 years, yesterday he told at least 10 years is the minimum time that will require the um, right understanding. Uh, I'm of the impression uh, that, uh, that few changes have come, but I should, uh, I, I could, few changes I could observe. And uh, I think I have a long uh, way to go. So this is for the uh, exercise one. And uh, the first one, one more thing, desire, uh, in the first ex uh, example, one of, uh, in the first one, the, uh, the desire part, uh, I, I joined for PhD before my UHV um, uh, had started, before I entered the journey of UHV. But then after a lot of confusion came to my, after I attended the UHV, whether I should do it, is it that uh, uh, necessary? And uh, I was, I asked Ganeshji also many times. So once he told, it is still in your expectation part. Because I know as a senior faculty, uh, I, I, if I want to continue in the teaching field, that is a mandatory. Uh, so it, it should come to the desire level. So now uh, I, I could see that it has come to the desire feeling level. Like, like no, I should, uh, why I need to do it is, uh, it is not for any physical facility. Uh, it is for since uh, I could I, I have to be in the teaching field. Uh, I have I need to connect with the students, uh, which I could see there is a lot of change uh, in my students after this uh, UHV exploration. And I could yesterday actually one uh, class result came. They are in S six students. So uh, with that all teachers with a uh, group with that feeling of relatedness. And uh, since we are teaching and. Uh, we know that uh, many of them complaints, like all teachers used to, uh, not in my uh, department, I feel the teachers has a complaint of the new generation uh, is not good. It's very difficult to teach, but I is not, it's very difficult to handle them. But I feel that uh, it is not that difficult with this uh, content and with the proposals. And since we're uh, teaching the students also the UHV, uh, so we can actually advise them with these uh, explore the proposals and it becomes easy because I, why I told about the result, uh, our college is a, in our college students come from very poor background and um, their education also is not that good. So uh, the first semester result was only 20 percentage, but when they reached S6, I could, uh, yesterday was a result, it reached up to 60 percentage. So uh, I could see the change in them. Of course, the students have put their effort, the teachers also uh, with that, uh, like, no, with the feeling of relationship. And this was a batch where I went uh, industrial visit with them. So uh, I was there with them for uh, 15 days together. So I could see when they came the first year, we, uh, the teachers were finding a little difficult to handle them. But now they have become so composed. Of course, through the years, they will do. But I think this content had gone to the teachers and to the students. Uh, that is why the change we could. Uh, see, uh, that was one observation I could uh, make yesterday. Then coming to exercise two, observing the self, the body, and the interaction between the self and the body in space by the self. So, uh, so first one, I could see that self and body are two distinct realities. Um, so, um, I could see that the self is very important and I should, I know I should take care of the body, but giving it too much of importance is not required. And uh, these two distinct realities, what I observed recently, uh, um, that uh, I used to, I, I don't have to told Shamla Ji, I was very much attached to my father. So before I used to uh, think that when my parents go away, 
I should also go away from this uh, habit. Uh, because uh, then she told me, see, as the body, uh, as they become old, uh, the, the body, the self cannot um, be in that body which is sick. So it has to go. And the self, uh, the, you are connected with the body only to the parents. The self is a diff uh, di different entity. The self is totally different. It has to take the journey. So uh, that was a really uh, 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 good exploration, what she told. So I could see that uh, when my father expired recently, uh, that uh, I was not that much uh, like, no, uh, that much uh, which I could feel before. I, I will not be able to handle the situation, but I was able to handle it nicely. Uh, he was sick for almost three months, but not in a bad stage, but uh, I could take care of him. Uh, nicely since I was uh, with him. So uh, this that is what I could feel that self and the body are two distinct uh, realities. Uh, then uh, the second one, uh, the self was giving instruction to the body. Uh, I, I start after this exercise only uh, like no, I could know that uh, the that self is giving instruction to the body and the body will do what instruction I give. And uh, the one uh, one example, I think it is to a higher level. Um, like uh, what I could observe is uh, once in a morning session, I think uh, one of the co-explorers, Viniji, was asking the question that a uh, self whether the, uh, uh, he was asking he was worried about uh, the old age what will happen. Uh, like and then Kumar uh, Bhaiya uh, told. Uh, you don't need to worry if your understanding becomes that much high the self can leave the body the self will be able to uh, leave the body at the faster so you don't have to be uh, in the bed for a long time or suffer or like that. so in my uh, father's case i could observe that so when he was diagnosed um, he was we didn't inform him he was in the four stage but still uh, his body was uh, deteriorating and he was telling that now i had um, uh, my two daughters are in, uh, like, no, I'm satisfied with my life. So I don't want to suffer much. So I could see that without much suffering, uh, like, no, he was telling, I have to leave the, uh, now I it is time to leave the body. And it, uh, like, no, it happened also. And um, uh, in uh, before, I, before leaving the body, I think, uh, around one month back only, my I have to go with my students, which is, already booked one year before. So I was like a panic situation if I go, because my father used to be sometimes admitted to the hospital uh, that palliative care was going on. He was able to manage himself eating food, going to the washroom, everything was okay. But he was having very high cough, which was sometimes unbearable. So we had to admit him to the hospital. So I was telling him that, uh, you know, how could I go? I don't want to go. I'll send some other teachers. But my father told, no, you have to go. You will learn many things. Uh, you had gone log my five years back. So many things have changed. Uh, then with my father's, this thing, uh, like, no, he gave me the confidence. Um, I went. And that 15 days I could observe, he was never admitted. He used to call me every day, ask where you went. What did you see? He used to tell me, go and visit this place because he has traveled all over India. Uh, so uh, that that confidence, he and um, that uh, no, and uh, I I think he called me every day because I should not get a worry. And when I came back, uh, no, his uh, he uh, he is illness. He was admitted to the hospital, and then I think within twenty days uh, he passed away. So this was something uh, uh, and uh, like no, like uh, the self. I just uh, I think it's a higher level, like. The self can decide when to leave the body. So this was uh, something uh, I could explore what uh, Kumar Bhaiya had told. Of course, my father, he was a very uh, noble, uh, he was a very nice person, uh, used to help many people. So that also I feel that is, uh, that was like a very smooth thing. Then the third, I'm the one who decides what instructions are to be passed to the uh, body and what what sensations are to be read from the body. So um, I'm uh, many times, uh, I'm not aware of the uh, sensations many times when I'm so engrossed uh, in my work. Like this, I think I've told before also, uh, I was listening to the, uh, I, I think I told uh, uh, Shamla in the morning session, 
like I was sitting uh, outside and uh, listening to the uh, session and it was very winter also, it was very cold, but I was not, uh, since the session, nice questions were being asked, uh, I was not feeling that cold, but when Shamla ji told to take the 10 minutes observation, and then it was totally silent. Then I could observe you, it is so cold outside. Then I came inside. So like uh, I could feel uh, what instruction that the uh, what instructions we only read. Um, I decide to what instructions are to be passed to the body and what sensations are to be read from the body. So I decide to transact from time to time when required. So this example, I think it is related to the third one. Then uh, the fourth one, I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body where I'm at a distance from the sensation. This I could, uh, I could feel that uh, many times uh, the distance part, uh, pain used to come in uh, some part, but I could see that I'm at a, that it is at a distance. So I could observe the pain. And then if the pain is so high, I could take the remedial measures. So I don't go into... Uh, and grows into that thing. I'm not uh, like, no, the pain or something. So many times, uh, like uh, now I'm all 52 years. So uh, with this understanding, many of that uh, I could understand uh, if there is a pain or anything like that. And in the first time when I told about the exercise, I end up, when I did the exercise one, uh, one of my teeth got broken a little bit and it was very sharp. And the uh, uh, dentist was available only in the evening, but I could uh, like know that pain uh, was bearable for me. I could control the pain, and I could control the pain. And when I went to the doctor, actually he showed me there was actually uh, marks uh, of uh, what he called scratches there. Or how? And he asked me how you could bear the pain. So this was something uh, like no. Uh, the fourth one, I can read the sensation taking place in any part of the body from where I am at a distance from the sensation so we we as a self can uh, even control the sensations then the fifth one my interaction with the body or the world outside is by way of is by the way of sensation i give meaning to the uh, sensation and my res reaction or response depends on the sanska. Uh, my uh, periods used to come regularly, but in between it was <laughs> for two, three, two months it didn't come. So what happened, my cousin who is also of the same age, she also uh, didn't get her periods and when she went and checked, she had some the growth or something in the uterus. So she came and told me. So like, no, with, with that, uh, this thing also, uh, this thing, I also felt that, you know, uh, oh my God, is, is that so? And uh, in the, uh, uh, what do you call it, in the stomach, so much of uh, pain was coming. Uh, then my gynecologist was actually in, uh, on leave. So one year I have to suffer that pain. And then we went to her, she did all the testing and she told us nothing, nothing is there. Uh, you're, it is uh, because of the age it is happening. So that's what I uh, like, no, sometimes uh, the, the interaction, the way this, uh, how we take, no, it is uh, not to the right understanding. We take it uh, like in the, uh, not based on the correct right understanding, we take it. And usually I don't, uh, I um, don't take it in that way, but this because my cousin came and told me, so I got that uh, that assumption uh, that uh, something is there. And the seventh point, uh, my being in space and in coexistence in space, I need to uh, still work on it. So that is it uh, from my say. Commitment as a, a, whatever work I have been doing. Uh, I'm attending the morning session from 5.30 to 6. 6 uh, and I'm also attending the Sunday weekly meetings and a Wednesday follow-up session. So these for these weekly meetings, I'm doing the volunteering part also. And for the Kerala chapter meeting and the UC meetings also, uh, and I'm helping uh, uh, to, uh, I'm a volunteer for uh, conduction of those meetings. And I'm the uh, uh, RC for the, of NCCIP of Southwestern uh, region. And I'm also the UHP coordinator of my college and 50% of my staff had done the uh, workshop and uh, since my principal also has done the workshop so he is very supportive for the uhv activities 
Uh, and I thank uh, for all the resource person, Shamla Ji, Kumar Bhaiya, uh, Ganesh Ji, Vanjana Didi, Rajiv Ji, Umesh Ji, and all the new resource persons and all my co-explorers for giving uh, this content, content and started my exploration journey. I also thank Sharad Bhaiya who patiently guided me and spent a lot of time in explaining the content when I used to have doubts in my uh, regional, my own language, Malaya. So this is my exploration journey. Thank you for giving me an opportunity. Thank you. Now uh, we can listen from Shamla Devi, her remarks and comments on Priya Ji's sharing. Namaste, Sabko. Priya Ji, very nice uh, to listen to you again. And if I go back and uh, see, you know, look at the sharings that you had given earlier in your previous explorations, I can see the change. And even from discussions that we keep having every now and then, I can see you know, the quality of your questions has changed. So I can see that a you know, lot of progress has been made. What you're mentioning, you know, that still a lot of work needs to be done. That's true for all of us. We have a long way to go. Many, many more um, things need to be worked out. We have to try to see, you know, our, how we are giving the meaning to so many things and how we are getting distressed by our own doing. I think Priyaji has been doing a lot of work both inside and outside. And um, the volunteering, trying to manage, you know, the things at home, plus taking care of the work in the college, all of that put together. I think, uh, as she mentioned, this multitasking, you know, when we are spending less time involved with our own sort of feeling sorry for ourselves and uh, trying to um, you know, find fault with others, you find that you are calmer and you are able to manage many more tasks more easily. So you're able to pay attention inside and you're able to pay attention to the body and you're able to pay attention to the outside also. Just that our awareness needs to increase so that we can be aware moment to moment, every moment. So best wishes Priyaji, all the very best. 